Bugün dünyada festival hərəkatı şübhəsiz ki, bir sıra siyasi, iqtisadi, humanitar məqamlarla bağlı olaraq inkişaf edir. Amma bütün hallarda festivalların hər birində insanları bir yerə birləşdirmək, onların ümumi məqsədləri və gələcək planlarını sanki öncədən çözmək misiyası var. Yəni, festival əslində özü humanitar bir misiya daşıyır və bütün festivallar deyilənə görə siyasətdən uzaqdır, amma bəzən belə olmaya da bilər. Həm söhbətim dünyanın ən möhtəbər festivallarından biri sayılan Çexiyada keçirilən Karlov Var Beynəlxalq Film Festivalının icraçı direktoru Krištof Mukhadın. Mr. Mukha, hello and thank you for interview. Thank you for inviting me. Mr. Mukha, what is the significance of the Karlovar Film Festival in Europe today? I mean, not only uh, compared with another festivals, also with the film markets. Uh, our festival, the Karlovar Film Festival, is the it's the second oldest in the world. Actually, it started 1946, uh, a few weeks before Cannes and Locarno started. Only the film festival in Venice is older than, than Carlo Evari. So we are talking about the year 1946. And uh, we will have, next year we will have the 57th, 59th edition. And it because that in the past, in the 50s and the 60s, beginning of 60s, the Carlo Evari Film Festival were switched with Moscow Film Festival because for the eastern part of the world, they the, the FIA, which is the Paris-based organization who is giving the, the other festivals, the, the, the various categories, they decided it's not necessary to have two A-category film festivals in the East, so they said you should be switched with Moscow Film Festival. That's why we have only 59th edition, but we should have had the, f uh, whatever, 80th edition next year. And, uh, but we are second oldest in the world. But what is special on this festival is that we are open to public. Our audience uh, could be any, anyone who is interested in the movies can go to Carlo Evari and buy tickets for the, for the screenings and, and uh, just to be a part of the, the film festival, which is special compared to the festivals like Cannes, Berlin, Venice and, and the others. Exactly, the goals of festivals are uh, changeable because it's up to political and economical issues. And what about the goals of the film festival, Karlova Vara Film Festival today? Did you change any positions, any goals, and new time maybe uh, dictate some new tasks for the festival? We are special uh, in terms of uh the, the, the dates of the festival is always the beginning of July, July. and it's uh, the first week of uh, summer holidays in, in Czech Republic. And since 1994, when the, let's say, the new era of the festival came, the festival was visited by the, uh, always been visited by the young students who actually started their summer holidays in Karlovy Vary. So that's why I was talking about that the festival is open to public. And our goal is to present them to our audience uh, the best films from the, 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 the previous festivals, from the, the previous productions, but also the new ones. Our competition films are always some discoveries from the world, and, but also the part of program is the films which were successfully screened in Cannes, successfully screened in Berlin and in uh, uh, Sundance, for example. So for you as a regular visitor, it's great to go to Carlo Evari, and it's also great for the, our industry guests that they can see the movies they missed at the other festivals, and they can see in Carlo Evari. That's one thing. It's our audience and to present them with the best films uh, available on, on market. The other thing is that we are supporting young filmmakers and we have a various programs. One I want to mention is called Future Frames, that we are presenting uh, 
10 out of the 27 European countries, students from the film schools, and they are graduated students and they work, and we present these films to the international producers and agents and managers. They watch the movies and they select then one of the students and they can go to United States to Los Angeles for a program for study, you know, for months or something like that. So that's, uh, so one goal is to present to the regular audience films from the, uh, the best films available. And also it's to support, uh, to support young filmmakers and, and uh, from the Europe and from the Czech Republic. We have a strong program at the, at the uh, um, uh, industry, this part of the industry office. We do the presentation, works in progress things, you know, the uh, uh, films in development, uh, scripts in development, but we are not selling the, we are not selling any movies there and stuff like that. So the, the industry people are there because they want to see what is happening in this part of the world, let's say Central and Eastern Europe and the, and the, and the countries east from the Czech Republic. And, but we are not selling, we are not organizing a regular market uh, as the other festivals. The festival also the intersection of East and West. What are the different tours also um, in general points? It's, we always been like that and we used to have a, we always have the main competition, but we used to have a competition course from East to West, yes. which was the folk, this competition was focused on the Central Eastern Europe and the post-Soviet countries. And but it changed li slightly because we, in these days, it's not necessary to have a special focused competition on, the, on this territory because Right now, you know, the availability, how to present the movies is way, way more easier. The people are from the West world, they know about the, the, the films from this part of the world sooner and better than it used to be. And, but we always, we represent the Central Eastern European and the, let's say post-Soviet countries. Uh, we are still the, the, the main festival in this territory. So the people from the, from the, of Western Europe and from the world, they like to go to Karlovy Vary and they know that they will, they will understand, they will see what is happening in this part of the world. What is the impact, how the festival impact the Czech film production, because it's very important for me for, and uh, your, in your example, I will describe the situation with another country which provides the same uh, festival. Yeah, we work closely with the, uh, you know, with the production uh, companies working in Prague, doing these post uh, doing these uh, production things for the, for the big U.S. studios and or the Western producers, also the Eastern producers. So they go to Karlovy Vary, they inviting uh, their partners there because it's a uh, people like to, you know, people working here and living in Czech Republic, they are proud about about the, the festival because that's the, that's the great, you know, place to be and a great place to, to discuss the, the, the thing. So we are also inviting the, the international producers. They sometimes then combine their visit to Karlovy Vary with uh, their stay in Prague for a few days because most of the guests, they, unless you're flying private jet, you can you can land in Karlovy Vary when you fly when you fly with the regular uh, plane you you have to land it in Prague, so they sometimes they stay in Prague for a few days. They go to visit Prague from Barandov Studios, etc. And they they obviously combine their trip with with a with a business with some business in Prague. So this is uh, always good time for the production team or the owners of the production company to go to Karlovy Vary and invite their international partners there and, and you know, discussing the things. It is, it could be part of it. We are not that focused on, on, on this, but obviously uh, film festival in Karlovy Vary is known enough that the people go, that we don't have only the Czech guests at the festival among the, the regular audience, but also not invited by the festival guests from the Germany, from Poland, from Slovakia, from Hungary, we know that the people, they, uh, they feel, and especially 
thanks to the tradition, always Kaloevare Film Festival was was the place where uh, filmmakers and, and regular tourists, they go just because of the, they want to enjoy the atmosphere there from this country's around Czech Republic. We know that um, many Hollywood stars every year coming to Karlovara. And uh, how would you comment the relationship between Karlovara and, I mean, the festival, also Hollywood film industry, not especially film stars and in general all film industry? Yeah, yeah, it's it's increasing. It's, it's bigger and bigger, and I think it's right now uh, it's more than two thousand, two thousand five hundred. Yes, and we have uh, one hundred thirty films uh, selected uh, to the program every year. A colleague of mine, the artistic director of the festival, Karel Och, he he and his team, they do the 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 main selection. And when we work with, we have some representatives and their colleagues for working for the program department in the in the different countries and we also have uh, members of the of of our team who are focused on various parts of the world so it's a lot of people working at the at the program department but only a few of them are the you know the everyday the whole year employees but we have a partners in, in a lot of other countries Mr. Mucha, what can you say for young filmmakers? Because uh, young filmmakers need for festival map, and what they can do. Uh, can you explain some? Can you give some advices? Yeah, we, we I think it, did, it started you know already in the 90s when uh, one of the huge uh, supporters of the film festival, because the president of the film festival, Mr. Bartoszka, is very famous Czech actor and and very. Uh, important personality for Czech Republic and the former Czechoslovakia. He's uh, 77 years old, uh, but he was the biggest TV star in the 80s uh, in Czech Republic, and he became the president of the festival. And he was a close friend with Miloš Forman, one of the iconic Czech uh, film directors who were, who left the country in the 60 in the 68, but he was uh, living in in the United States and he won uh, uh, an Oscar for the film Flying Over the Cuckoo's Nest and, and he won an Oscar for uh, Amadeus and he was a very important uh, director in in United States and he was surrounded by a lot of important names in Hollywood and and he called them and he said you have to go to Carlo Evari and, and support my friends so that's how Michael Douglas came and how how uh, Woody Harrelson came and and uh, and then we other important uh, very important supporter was the the first president after in 1989 Mr. Václav Havel and Mr. Václav Havel was a huge supporter of Karlo Evare, close friend to Mr. Bartoszka and and I remember the days when I was uh, I was on my way to Los Angeles with some official invitation letters for the big stars and I always stopped in the office of Mr. Václav Havel and he has these beautiful colored uh, pencils and he, he, we had this official text and then he put there uh, his, his, this little heart and saying, I would love to see you in Karlo Evare, Václav Havel. And that was the message, personal message from him to, to, to their guest. And he said that he will meet the, the, the film people only in Karlo Evare which was obviously strong support. And then we had, a, thanks to him, we had a support from, from uh, Marlene Albright, the former Secretary of State, and, and she was born in, Czech, in Prague. So, really? so she was a, there was this personal uh, connection to Václav Havel and then to us. And she came one year with uh, Robert Redford. And, and so it's like the snowball, you know, once you have, a, and you can see it here all around that we, these people, they, they like to go to Karlo Evare because they feel that the festival is about the filmmakers and about the audience. We don't pay them to go to Karlo Evare. They have to, they have to come for free. We obviously, we cover, uh, you know, the first class hospitality, but they don't, they don't have any, any, any fee from the festival to, to be here. And they like to come and they like to support the, the festival and it's it, it's you know unique atmosphere and really the the passion for films and 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 uh, filmmakers uh, mr mucha let's talk about the submissions uh, how many submissions 
uh, you receive every year and have there any increasing if we will compare no no we are not that important in terms of you know business and market uh, is not in case for Kaloyevari they go to the festivals like can because can is the mecca of the filmmakers the special screening or to Venice because they use the Venice Film Festival as a as a perfect start for the awards season, awards campaign. They see the possibility once they are in, a, in, a, in Venice at the festival that they can, you know, step by step go into the award season. Then they can go to San Sebastian Film Festival, Toronto Film Festival, uh, Telluride Film Festival, New York Film Festival. And this already be counted among the festivals who are helping you promote to the movie for the for the award season we are in a, in a bit in a different position but even the films from Cannes who are really the you know even the big ones and great ones great movie which we would love to screen sometimes we are not to allow to screen because they have this uh, award season ambitions so they are keeping the the release for the for the autumn days and autumn months so it's happening to us, but it depends. It depends when we can also screen the big Hollywood movies once they have the once they have the the release uh, worldwide release in the summer uh, months like July or or uh, August. So then we can screen the movie. And if the our only criteria is, is the quality of the movie. If the movie is good, then it could be part of the the, the our program. We because most of us like the, the 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 festival directors we seeing each other on the other festivals uh -huh. uh, already mentioned colleague of mine the artistic director of the festival he goes to the almost all important festivals during the year i personally as an executive director i go to um, sundance berlin can and that's my festival. So and select go. films? Not Before really. But I'm, no, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I call myself associate uh, programmer because uh, we go to Sundance, which is a fantastic example. Uh, uh, for me, because that's the festival where there, there's no market, all the films are in the premieres, so nobody wants to talk business with you or the festival strategies before the screening of the movie so you go to, so your only duty there is to go and watch the movie so I, I see three to four films a day and it's fantastic and I'm an advisor for the artistic director talking okay. discussing the films what is good or what is not that good enough uh, for our uh, for our program but uh, it's a it's a perfect example. So we we see we see each other. We are very close friends with uh, with um, uh, people at the Berlinale. We obviously know with the with the programmers and the directors in in Cannes. Uh, we have a great relationship with the people from Locarno, Sundance. So it's more like uh, it's nothing official, but we obviously share the 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 thoughts and the ideas and and things with uh, Tribeca people, with everybody. With everybody, obviously, you have a, in a special position uh, Ken and Venice, but the, the, with the others, we, we are friends. We are friends, we're talking, we're discussing the things, but uh, we don't have any official uh, cooperation with the other festivals. The, the right step is, is to go to Carlo Evari. <laughs> no matter what, you have to go there because you will you will fall, fall in love with the festival because it's about the filmmakers and the audience. And it's a beautiful city and it's, uh, it's uh, you know, you can see the beautiful films, you can meet fantastic filmmakers, important filmmakers and important people from the films. And you can have a lot of fun, you know, and it's, a, it's a, as, you, as you know, and I hope you, that your, your uh, audience will have a chance to, to see in this, in this uh, program how beautiful the Karlovy uh, city is and that's the that's it. as a filmmaker you will also be you are not going to be lost in Karlovy Vary in terms once you will once once your film will be selected by our, our uh, team 
and you will be part of the, the film festival, you will be seen, you will be seen by the important press, you will be seen by the important uh, journalists, and it's a great first step. And I think once you will be recognized by the, by, by the international community, your next film will be either in Cannes or in Venice, and, and the third step will be that you will be won the, the Oscars. But the first step has to be in Kalavivari. Mr. Mukha, thank you for interview. And really, I open new uh, description of Karlovaro International Film Festival, and we will follow deeply. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting Thank you me. Very much. Thank you. Cinema Radio, Cinema Radio, Cinema Radio.